Let me ask you if a person he killed a slave in Islam for insulting the Prophet, what is the punishment for that? Abdul, if I have a slave, she is a female and she was insulting the Prophet, what is the punishment for? Uh, my slave for insulting the prophet according to Allah religion let me show you this story guys and show you that Islam and Saudi Arabia is exactly the same to get those liars busted this is a poor maid servant slave you don't like Muhammad Her owner is a Muslim blind man. A blind man who had a slave mother, she is mother, she had babies, who used to abuse the Prophet. How she abused? She is a slave. She say, I don't, he's a liar. That's it. So this is slave, she used to abuse the Prophet. When you hear the word abuse, you think that Muhammad was a child. She spanked him. She take his food. She ate his sandwich. She stole his panty. She broke his toy. She is a poor slave. He rebuked her, but she did not give up. One night, she began to slander the prophet and abuse him. So you see the abuse? So he took his dagger and placed it in her belly and pressed it and killed her and the child who came between her legs was smeared with the blood that was there look look look, look at this image I don't know if you can make a movie about this her child is between her legs and the mother she is dying and the blood is showering the baby do you see Muhammad here is a victim brother Muhammad is a victim not this woman Muhammad is the victim The second day, the news came to the Prophet, and the Prophet is all about justice. Are you kidding me? No way. When the morning came, the Prophet was informed about that, about, about killing of this woman. So he assembled the people and said, I'm going to judge by Allah about this man who killed that whatever. So the man, he stood up, and he told him, I am her master. She used to abuse you and disprayed you. I forbid her, but she did not stop. I rebuked her, rebuked her, but she did not abandon her habit. I have two sons, like pearls from her. She was my companion. Last night she began to abuse you. So I took my dagger and I put it in her belly and pressed it until I killed her. The prophet said, Oh, be witness, no punishment for this blood. Do you see it? Do you see it, Muslims? So, what is the difference between this story and those maids who disappear in Indonesia? Is that justice? And by the way, here, anyone notice how many stupid things happen? Not only how many ugly, disgusting thing. Muhammad, he did not need witnesses. You see, in Islam, you need four witnesses to prove adultery. But the man, he killed the woman just because he said she insulted you, I killed her. Muhammad, he says, it's okay, kill her. What if the man is lying? You know what I mean? Because now any man, he can kill his wife. They take him to the police. He says she insulted the prophet. Okay, let him go. That's it. Because now this is, this is Sunnah. This is Allah. Any Muslim man, he can kill his wife now. No witnesses, no proof of the story whatsoever. He did not say, "Do you have witnesses that say she said that in the front of everybody, etc." No, there's no witnesses. 
So any man can kill his wife, put a dagger in his belly, and shower his child between her legs by the blood of the mother. Look how evil he is, and how evil this cult is, and they are proud about it. And Muhammad now is doing justice. And the funny, by the way, they say to us in Islam, we are forbidden from killing women, right? That's what they lie to us. They say, he cannot kill women. He killed her and there's her blood is free, as if she is a chicken. Muhammad is God. You cannot speak against Muhammad. That will cause you your life. Your blood is for free. 